specifically featured that we will just have a separate video talking about them okay and so Brittany's energy is my total prison wife energy I'm not gonna lie <laughs> and I'm gonna say this okay every woman has prison wife energy if you've never been in a relationship with someone who's incarcerated then you don't know your prison wife energy you could potentially assume I'm not encouraging you to get into a relationship with someone in prison I'm not currently in a relationship with someone in prison it is very difficult to maintain but I just wanted to tell you guys that because Brittany is my total energy like <laughs> With the renting of the van, with the connecting to his family, getting everybody the shirts. I know that her whole plan for how she was going to pick him up and spend time with him was sort of flipped around when the whole family wanted to, you know, come for the whole ride and the dad actually wanted to drive. <laughs> and then, you know, all craziness and chaos and confusion broke loose. But I think in the end, everything that she did was worthwhile and they will have some happiness. I don't know if it's going to be a lifetime, but they will have some. And isn't that why we love, we love for happiness. You know, we, we hope for a lifetime of happiness, but what you really have to think about. Ooh, my, my coconut milk almost spilled. My coconut milk almost spilled. All right, what we really have to think about is you will have a lifetime of happiness. It just might not be with the person that you, whew, with the person that you expect, but you're gonna have it. I'm sorry, y'all. I definitely, let me turn my head. I definitely pick my nose right up in y'all faces. I have to cut that out. Okay, so talking about Brittany and Ray. So. She rents this car, as I said. She gets a whole bunch of these t-shirts. I say, welcome home, Ray, for the whole family. His dad, his, I think it's his dad's wife. He, she does take on the motherly role, but Ray's biological mother was killed, which has a lot to do with his trauma as a child and why he did the things that he did to act out and end up in the situation where he's in. It's not an excuse, but I completely understand. He is the type of guy that I have encountered many, many times who've been impacted by the system. It's often due to a loss of a parent. Often that parent is the mother who was often the only active, strong, present, reliable show up parent in their life and so to lose that person and then to be thrown out into the world to not only deal with their death their passing their burial arrangements but also becoming an independent person that's not in regular communication with your rock your mother or your father that parent that'll send you on a whirlwind especially when you're living in a world that sees you as a target you are young, black, male, from a place where there's not a lot of economic opportunity or role models. A lot of people think that this is a game, that this is just something that we say just because. But it is a... It's, it is a situation that a lot of people are forced to endure. And I see that in Ray and it makes me really sad for him. But at the same time, it makes me happy to be able to witness his release and his coming to his people. And we don't really see a lot of their story. All we see initially is they go to pick him up. The prison in this release situation takes the former inmates to a bus stop where they have a bus ticket to go to a specific place where at that point they are instructed to make their way to a halfway house but because ray's family pulled up at the bus stop where he was instructed to take a bus route to another location to meet his family at that point the prison took him back and so 
the episode ended with, oh my gosh, is he going to be locked back up? What happened? And so in this next episode, we just see a little update on that. Not too much on their story uh, beyond his release date and that confusion. But he does get into the car with his loved ones after they clarify that he has a specific time he has to be at the halfway house. He's picked up at the prison location instead of at the bus stop. And shout out to their family for following that prison van back to the prison. I know a lot of people probably wouldn't have made that call or might have been nervous to make that call or might have just waited at the bus stop. But it's that type of intense, think on your feet action, that follow through, that not giving up, that lack of, of I don't even want to say fear because I'm sure they were afraid, but their unwillingness to relent in the face of opaque devastation and confusion. Like to only imagine like you've been waiting years and years and years to see your loved one they're right at the brink you see them you're ready to touch them and run into their arms and they're escorted back onto the van that just led them out of captivity so for them to follow that van and to not give up and to eventually pick him up and take him to the halfway house was awesome they had enough time to do that he was in the back seat talking to his girl and his grandma or whatever and even though the grandma the dad the mom and uh, all of them had to share space with Ray and Brittany in the car. I think it was a beautiful moment. And I think that even though Ray said in the comments, you know, I wish I could have had some alone time with my girl. I think the reception that he had was really energizing and fueling for him. And I think everybody who was there needed to be there. They needed that with him. And at the end, we're just sad because they have to separate. Ray has to go into the halfway house. And it's just kind of just like this unfinished, you know, goodbye, see you later before the family departs from the halfway house. The incense is long out, y'all. These incense feel like they're burning fast, but it's okay. I am, yep, done with talking about all the intros to the couples. I'm going to dive deeper into their state regulations. I just wanted to give y'all a quick Bit fire on what I'm thinking on these people that we have seen in this new spread. I do like and enjoy and find all the couples entertaining that we've seen so far.